1986, when I was governor of Tennessee, U.S. Secretary of Education Bill Bennett asked me to lead the so-called Alexander James Study Group on the National Assessment of Educational Progress. Together, our group recommended the creation of what came to be called the National Assessment Governing Board to oversee the National Assessment of Educational Progress, which I like to call the nation's report card. We said then that decision makers need to see the facts clearly. This nation's report card has become the most reliable instrument in elementary and secondary education to enable state and local leaders to make decisions about how to help our country's students. And these measurements are especially critical in the areas of United States history, civics, and geography, where students aren't otherwise tested regularly the same way they are in reading, math, and science. <clears throat> Without the nation's report card, we'd have no reliable way to measure students' progress in some of the most important subjects that our students need to know.